Hello, welcome back to CaptainFishBeard.com. Now you guys know I love it when you send me suggestions. And we got a real good one in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Love those guys. Right, so let's move to our drawing tab. Like so, just like that. And we start off as we always do with some shapes. We're going to go through the drawing process and then we're going to go through the uh, digital drawing process and we're going to have some fun with them as well. So we're going to draw each individual one, give them some characteristics. It's going to be really good fun. So I'm going to draw some very faint sort of outlines here for where the basic elements are going to go of our tiles. And we're going to use the theme tune of the one that I grew up with. So, I mean, this was, you know, the 1990s um, when this was around. So hopefully it's the same one as you. But let me know if not. Uh, but I think they're roughly the same anyway. So uh, I'm going to start with this basics. So we've got the circle there, circle there, circle there. One little dip under there for the... There we go. So all we need again this stage, before we do an inking stage, is a very rough outline. So follow, do lots of lines like this. Follow the ones you like best. It's getting too messy. Get rid of a few of those lines. Put in ones you like. And then we know roughly that we're going to have a band out across there. The eyes go up like that. That'd be the sort of eyebrow ridges, if you like. That's the sort of nose bit that comes over the top. And that's what you can see to suggest that in there. We have a little bit of the bandana coming down there like that. That's our basic TMNT. TMNT? I'm not doing the wrong way around, am I? TMNT shape. And then you can just refine it from there because that's really all you're going to need, that basic shape. And then sort of make it look better throughout here. And I'm going to put some just a bit more detail on these. And then we're going to change that line again there. That's a bit better. It's a bit wide before, wasn't it? Okay. Now I'm working with this. We're going to have some fun. So we're going to move on to the digital version right now over here. So here we go. We're starting off with a template. It's going to be Leonardo, this one, but they've all got the same face, haven't they, frankly? Let's face it. Um, it's just the colours that differentiate them, really, until you get to the film. And it might be a bit different in the, uh, in the live action pieces, but... Here we are. This is the, the digital stage. You can see the uh, little paintbrush icon is what I'm working with on here this is a program called adobe illustrator and just put the finishing touches to a bandana there this is the sort of stage where you can really iron out any creases or any bits you didn't really like on the original drawing they're going to move the eye that sort of stuff really is just the uh, the finishing touches and that is our basic turtle i wasn't quite happy with that eye movement but there he is so this one i think we're going to color him green shockingly i'm sure you uh, didn't see that coming and um, the beauty with the uh, digital art is you can Draw your colours underneath your black lines, and then over top, and then pop, they can go behind. So a little bit darker green for the inside of the mouth, and then we can really start blinging them up once we've uh, got them into the fully coloured stage. So this one hasn't got a bandana, so we don't know who it is. That's right, it's going to be Leonardo, which by the theme tune we know is, he is the leader. Uh, but frankly nothing else from the theme tune. Obviously we get a bit of character in the show, but from the theme tune he's the leader and frankly that's a bit boring. So we're going to leave Leo there, no offence mate, and um, we're going to move on to somebody who has got more personality, Donatello. Now Donatello does machines, we are told, in this theme tune, and um, so we're going to make him into one. We're going to make him into a robot. Obviously, we've got to great keep his bandana where it is, and um, we're going to met metallic, metallize, met metallic, metallic. We're going to make him metal. That's what we're going to do. So then we can start with the uh, a base coat of grey. I think we're going to need some highlights on it as well. There we go. One over the top there as well. He's looking quite a lot like a machine, except for he hasn't got any rivety nuts and bolts. 
So we better uh, rectify that. And again, the beauty of doing things on digital art is you don't have to draw each one of those nuts and bolts or screws or whatever we're going to be calling them in there. You can actually preload a brush to be your screw, which I've done here. And I can just literally dapple them on as I see fit all around the edges, making it look like a steel girder. Look at Donny. I think he looks pretty good as a robot. I think the only thing we need now is maybe lights in his eyes. There we go. So Raph's next, and what do we know from about Raph from the theme tune? We know that he's cool, but rude. Which is, you know, a bit of a mixed bag there. So how do we make him cool? Route one, to make something cool. We know this from the Professor Frink video. If you haven't seen that one, get on it, it's awesome. Uh, one of my favourites, I love Professor Frink. We're giving him some shades to make him cool. I mean, that is the epitome of cool, is it not? A pair of shades. So there we go, doing some, some shiny effects in there. A bit rough, isn't it, on this one, but uh, <laughs> you get the idea. I think it's quite a fun idea there. So he's looking cool, but at the moment, he's not very rude, is he? How are going to make him rude? Of course. The rudest thing you can possibly do is stick your tongue out. So that's what he's doing there. So there we go. I think Raphael qualifies as cool, but rude. Finally, we have Michelangelo, who everybody knows is a party dude. Now, put a party hat on him, because that's the epitome of party, isn't it? That's what I think of when I think of party. And what else? Obviously, it's balloons. I mean, apart from putting jelly and ice cream in this, I'm not sure how much more party we could be, really. That's my interpretation, anyway. It's probably a pizza party, is it? You know, those, those guys sure love, uh, sure love their uh, their Domino's pizza. Oh, it doesn't have to be Domino's. Other pizza outlets are available. Probably better ones as well. Support your local pizza place. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time on CaptainFishBeard.com.